Vinesh, how widespread is adoption of alternative data by buy side firms? So I think it's still pretty early. Um, you know, there are certainly a lot of surveys that have said that most investment managers would like to adopt alternative data sets. They're interested in it, mm -hmm. but very few actually have the capability of doing so yet, or have dedicated teams to doing so. So. Um, we really think that there are a couple of distinctions you can draw in terms of the type of firm who uh, might be um, adopting alternative data and who might be farther along in the process. The yeah. first distinction, I would say, on one end, you have hedge funds and prop trading groups. Yeah. On the other, you have asset managers, asset owners, pension funds. We see much more adoption in the first group. Um, there's less red tape. Uh, it's much easier for to onboard a data set. Yeah. These firms are smaller. Uh, they yeah. can take advantage of potentially strategies which have um, smaller capacity. Mm -hmm. So we find that they are more flexible and, and often uh, take advantage of these data sets uh, more readily mm -hmm. than some of their larger counterparts. So that's the first distinction is, is sort of hedge fund versus asset manager. Yeah. Uh, the second one that we think is interesting and that we focus on a lot is quants versus fundamental or discretionary mm -hmm. managers. So our background is in the quant space. Yeah. Um, we do find that although there are data sets that have been widely adopted among fundamental managers, let's say credit card information, um, and in the quant space, let's say in news analytics, yeah. uh, those things have been around for a while. Um, but we definitely think that the quants are sort of well positioned to ingest data sets. It's something they already did with traditional data set. Yeah. It's just an extension of the same idea. So, you know, we find that they have the ability to ingest the data set, to analyze it, to make a clear determination as to whether it adds value to the process or not. Um, so, so we think that the early adopters are really in that sort of uh, data driven, maybe stat arb or mid horizon quantitative space, uh, with some clear exceptions. Um, and I should back up and say there are exceptions even in the asset management space. Firms like BlackRock and Schroeder's are obviously yeah. ahead of the game here. Yeah. Uh, the third distinction um, is really in asset classes. Um, we think that, you know, from what we can see, the adoption of alternative data is much earlier in the equity space, and yeah. there's less in, let's say, credit or macro. And you know, most of the managers we work with uh, are primarily approaching us for uh, for data sets on equities, with, with a few exceptions. Um, so that's um, mostly, the, those are mostly the three distinctions I like to draw. And then in terms of the structure of how people have approached this problem, uh, the most common thing we see among the larger quant firms, and those that have the resources for this, is creating a data acquisition team. Mm -hmm. So this, or vendor management team, uh, something like that. Yeah. So a team who's dedicated to dealing with vendors like ourselves, um, with uh, facilitating trials for the portfolio managers, for being that first pass, so before the portfolio manager wants to you know, look at a data set, the first screen, because there's so many data sets available right now, might be to, uh, to go through this team and have this team facilitate those interactions. And then, of course, this team can help when it comes to negotiations for actually, um, for actually acquiring a data set.